Hey guys, what's going on? Big Country Scrubber here. Today we are going to be tearing apart these two furnaces here. Getting all the goodies out of them. And then once we get the goodies out of them, we'll uh, go over to the table and fully strip them down. So, to start off, let's, uh, let's get going here. We got Junior. We got Junior in the background here working on small motors. Getting uh, some copper for another video. Cutters. Nice juicy wire. This motor up top. Nice electric motor there. That one's done. So I got that big boy to do.
and some more of that. Get my drill. Two screws in there. Go ahead and get out. That releases our squirrel cage. <clears throat> Just like that. Alright guys, we'll be back in a minute. We're gonna go over to the table. All right, guys, we're on the bench here now. Right in. We're on the bench. So let's get started with this. So these wires here will all be our 60% wire. So these will all just get thrown in the barrel. You want to take off these plastic ends though, because if not, we'll get downgraded and we don't want that. No. All right. Well, these can still go on shred. You still got water and stuff in them. Let's move these off to the side. Nice transformer on top. That'll go on our transformer bucket. There's some shred or tin, however your yard classifies it as. This is all good, 60% wire, probably uh, some of the best you can get, number two. This is basically like number two insulated high grade. So you definitely want to keep this 
separate from any other wires. Probably a pound to two pounds in there. Hey, right. I'm gonna dump that in the white bucket. Dump that in the white barrel. All right. And we got our low grade. Let's throw that in with our low grade parts. I'm done. Get rid of those in the shred. All right. Now we do have some brass. steel or HMS but now we got a nice clean chunky yellow brass bit that'll go on a clean brass it's always nice all right now these valves all right guys let me just switch up my grinder blade and I'll be right back all right guys we are back we got the blade changed so first of all, what we want to do is we want to take off this brass, these little valves here. That's all we do. May not seem like a whole lot of brass from the start, but if you get these often, if you get furnaces often, all these little brass bits, they definitely add up over time. And they are a nice clean yellow brass. I mean, I guess it all comes down to what your time is worth. Now with this, I could just take it like this, throw it in shred. I could try and clean the aluminum, but I don't. All I do is just cut it. I'll go on short steel or tin, whatever pays more. Now we got some dirty aluminum, but there is still some brass on here, guys. So we can go after the brass that is on here still. Nice chunky piece of brass right here. Then there's a little brass dial right there we can go ahead and get off. Just like that. So just off one of these. Doesn't look like much, but there's some nice yellow brass. Goes into our brass bucket over here. Okay. Now, are we done yet? Not yet. 
we got these two motors right here. They don't look like motors, but there is quite a bit of copper in them. So you want to go ahead and go for them. Now we do need a security bit. There we go. Take out this black box. There we go. So that's off. And now you can go after these. get these off the long way by taking out every single screw but I'm all about the easy way so there we go some nice copper in there we did a video on taking those apart uh, if you guys want you guys can check that out now there is this here we can try and clean this up a bit if you really want to go that far, I don't. I just throw them in uh, dirty aluminum. That'll be dirty cast. We throw that in a dirty cast bucket. And that is that. This is all tin right here, tin shroud. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah. Until next time. Don't forget to keep scrapping. Don't forget if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And uh, mean a lot to me. So until next time, guys, keep scrapping and have a good one. Uh, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, same video. Had a brain fight there. We're forgetting something out of the furnace, are we not? These big old squirrel cages. Completely forgot about them. How could I forget about them? Right. So there is a bolt inside here. We want to take out and that kind of controls the stator inside sometimes the stator will fall right out after we take out the screws Sometimes it won't because it'll be seized in there. But either way, we try to get them out if we can. So that way we get more cast. But if we can't, no big deal. So let's go ahead and cut some more of this wire off. You guys are probably like, whoa, right, wait, wait, wait. What about the big scroll cages, right? Yeah. I remember. I mean, I guess I could have did these in a separate video, but might as well do it all at once. Right? All right, let's go ahead and get our bit that we need. Not that one. There we go. take out these three they should come right out if not then uh, see it in there yeah, so the is seized up it's okay we can still get the motor this takes a little bit more work that's all 
So let's go ahead and so some of these nuts are uh, seized on the bottom, so we just take our grinder. Then we take our hammer, give it a love shot, just like that. Off comes our motor. We get rid of this. That goes and shred. All right. Now. Got that cast on the top there. And we have this. Take your grinder again. aluminum but the inside is copper so this is copper aluminum you see the aluminum there and the copper on the inside so we'll probably still take this one apart I thought it was copper aluminum, but apparently 
Well, it is. There's a little bit of copper, but mostly aluminum. So we're just going to let that go, actually. I thought there was more copper in there than what I thought. But I need that back, actually. Well, there wasn't, so that was a waste of time. Guess I should have looked at it better. Oh, well. So now with these, you just want to go ahead and clean these up. Nice, clean cast aluminum. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Keep scrapping.